Hi, I thought it'd be helpful to have some video videos where I talk about the course. And so this will we'll call this uh, week three news and exploratory data analysis. Uh, I just graded um, assignment two. Generally, you did pretty well with the mechanics of the assignment, like drawing the stem plots and finding the summaries. But I think there was some confusion about what exactly to submit. And also, you were a bit weak in communication. So I thought I would talk more about that now. OK, so if you're going to be an effective statistician, um, your ability to communicate your statistical results to other people is pretty important. And likewise, in this course, uh, I'm going to be grading you on your ability to communicate. That's really very important. So it's much more on communication and less on the mechanics. OK, so um, when you show me our work, most of what you write is show me is um, is text, sentences, and paragraphs. And um, i like you to write down every question that I ask you, and then uh, give me your answer in paragraphs and complete sentences. And just show me enough R so I can, you know, it basically just uh, uh, illustrates what you're doing, but you don't need to overdo it in terms of R. Which means uh, do not show me data sets, especially the large ones. Um, any R output which is not related to the work should be removed. For example, warnings or error messages that you might see, those should not be part of your, your assignment. Now, OK, also, um, i like you to turn in your document uh, in markdown format that's been knitted in an HTML file. So I, did, I will not accept any Word documents in the future. Now, I think there might be some question about this. Um, so since I'm nice, uh, what I'll do in the future is create uh, markdown templates for you to work on. So this way, there'll be less confusion about what I'd like to see in terms of your assignment. So to give you an illustration of that, um, here is your Canvas module. And your next assignment is how many bins. And you notice that there's a new file called activity2.rmd, which is a markdown file. This is the assignment in markdown format. So what you want to do then is you want to download that file. And then you open up that file in, in R. And uh, so this is the, as you see, this is just the assignment. Uh, and I've I fixed it so that the messages should be should not appear. There shouldn't be any warnings showing. So um, if you put your name, so if your happen, name happens to be um, Joe Buck, for example, then you put your name there, and then so you'll do your all your R work uh, in this file. And when you're done, you will knit this to HTML. So so you can see on the right, you'll see a um, what comes out of this markdown file. And so notice, so notice my R work is in chunks, and uh, I'm showing you some histograms. The whole point of this assignment is to get some guidance or some intuition about uh, the number of bins that you should choose for a histogram. So anyway, so here's your assignment. Notice that there's some table information for you to fill out. And uh, so anyway, uh, if you, you turn this thing back in with your answers, and uh, then um, that'll work out well. Anyway, so if you have any questions about things, uh, please ask. You can ask me by sending me email, email me. You can visit me in my office. I'm generally available, you know, during the week. And uh, and for some reason, um, this is magic uh, ability of uh, our work always always works well in my office. So if you are struggling with anything related to R, then um, you're welcome to come visit me. Okay, well, have a good week, and uh, again, let me know if any questions pop up.